All praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wabrakakwadash. Peace, blessings, and much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth. No matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth. To the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets. You women, sons, and daughters as well. The water too, Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Okay? Let's touch on the book of Romans to start this off. Romans chapter 11 and verse 1. I say then, hath the power cast away his people? Who are the Lord's people? Well, we all should know that answer. The Lord's people are you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Biblically, you are known as the Israelites. That is your true nationality. That is your identity that's been stripped from you. So the Lord is um, putting that back on you. But a lot of Israelites who are still clinging to these um, bywords are offended that we're bringing you this truth. You don't like it. You think it's uninteresting. You don't think it's deep enough. You don't like things being simplified. You want things to be complicating because in your mind, if it's complicating, it must be true. If it sounds deep, it must be true. The Lord has given our people one plus one is two all day long. And our people want to hear 50,000 times 362 uh, uh, million five hundred fifty-five thousand. They they want to hear complicated reasonings. They don't want to hear it simple and plain and just straight to the point. Because to them, that doesn't sound scholarly. That doesn't sound right. Okay. But anyway, I say then, had the power cast away his people, God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham. Of the tribe of Benjamin. The power hath not cast away his people. Which he foreknew. What ye not. What the scripture saith. Of Elias. How he maketh intercession of the power against Israel saying. Lord they have killed thy prophets. And dig down thine altars. And I am left alone. And they seek my life. But the point being that I want to bring out. The Lord has not casted away his people. Okay, although our people are rebellious, our people are in some of the worst conditions. Guess what? The Lord did it to us. The Lord put us low in this society. Although some of us are doing well compared to other Israelites, we get that. Overall, our people are destroyed. Even if you're an Israelite in this society and you're successful, you're still destroyed. You're still destroyed because you don't have this knowledge. You don't have this truth. Okay. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people. Who are the Lord's people? The same people that he's speaking of. That Paul is speaking of. That the Lord did not cast away. Those people. Okay. The Israelites. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And if you love your children, do the work, man. If you have a, a wife and you have children or a child, okay, if you don't have no other reason of doing the work, if you all messed up and you feel like dropping the ball, you feel like going back into the world, look at your wife and her face if you love her. Look at your, your, your sons and daughters in their faces if you love them. And imagine the Lord destroying them because you put the plow down. Because that's what would happen. Okay? We have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We have to hold on to it. The majority of our people, they don't want nothing to do with it. We can't be like them. Because the Lord is going to not only destroy them because of their rebellion, because of their senseless activities, because of their lack of knowledge... He is going to destroy their children also in whom they love, man. The Lord ain't playing. But the Lord is calling our people to repent. Now is that time 
where the Lord is calling our people everywhere to repent. Let's go to Mark right quick. I believe it's Mark chapter 1. Uh, let me see here. Okay, this is Mark chapter 1 and verse 15. And saying, the time is fulfilled. Verse 14. Now after that John was put in prison, Yahawashai came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and saying, the time is fulfilled, the kingdom of the power is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. So this is the message. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's time for you Israelites to repent. And believe the gospel because you not believing in this gospel that's keeping you at a lack of knowledge the knowledge is found within this Bible within the gospel but you're lacking it you're rejecting it okay this is why the Lord does the things that he does unto our people that's why our people get the unfair treatment okay and Yahweh Shai said unto them Come ye after me, and I will make you, uh, my bad, I, I skipped the verse. Let me go back to 15. And saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of the power is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Now as he walked by the sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And Yahweh said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And that's what the Lord is doing with us. He is making us fishers of men to draw the elect of our people back unto him so that they can repent. Okay, they can receive this gospel and repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And guess what? We are the children of the covenant. And the reason why this is that time, more so than any other time, to repent is because, yeah, the Lord's been angry with us, but guess what? The Lord is reflecting on the promise that he made with us. Let's go to Jeremiah right quick. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 21. Do not abhor us for thy name's sake. Do not disgrace the throne of thy glory. Remember, break not thy covenant with us. And the Lord is not going to break that covenant. That covenant was promised to his people. That covenant was promised to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the Lord is remembering that covenant. That's why he has his men, such as myself, doing what we're doing. We're telling you, listen to the words of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, if you want things to go well with you, man. But you don't want that because you're destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 60. Nevertheless, I will remember my covenant with thee in the days of thy youth, and I will establish unto thee an everlasting covenant. Why? Because the Lord remembers the covenant which he made with us. As Paul said, the Lord has not casted away his people. The Lord is remembering that covenant. He is not going to break that covenant in which he made. He made that with us. That's just what it is. Yeah, our people are wicked. You know, most of our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Excuse me. But at the end of the day, the Lord still made a covenant with us and our forefathers. And that's just what it is. So now it's time for our people. Repent. Draw back. Listen to the words that are found within this Bible. It's not a complicated message. You just want to hear more because you based off, you know, how society has taught you. You see wisdom as complicated things. Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant and speak unto the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And say thou unto them, thus saith the Lord power of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. It's simple. Okay? If you don't obey the words found within this Bible, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to destroy you. We are set up to proclaim these words unto you, whether you listen or whether you don't listen, in hopes to draw you to repentance, to come back to who you are, an Israelite from whatever tribe through the spirit, okay, and you are to abide by the ways of the Lord, okay? And we understand we're sinners, we're as filthy rags, but we still are to 
um, rehearse the righteous acts here in this captivity, wherever we may be on this earth. Okay? We are giving a message directly from the heavens. That's why we speak using the oracles of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So you can't say, oh, I didn't know that that was from the Lord. You knew it was from the Lord because it's within the words of the Lord that we're, we're telling you these things. Okay? Let's read verse 2 again. Hear ye the words of this covenant and speak unto the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Okay, so you have to remember the words of this covenant. Why? Ezekiel 16 and 60 again. Nevertheless, I will remember my covenant with thee in the days of thy youth. So the Lord is remembering that covenant. So since the Lord is remembering that covenant that he made with us, okay, we have to hear the words of the covenant because the Lord is um, remembering that promise in which he made with us. And if you don't agree with that, if you go against that, nothing but death is promised to you. And then you'll be in your right mind once the kingdom of heaven is established. But anyone in their right mind, which is really only the elect, they want to be delivered. They want to be saved. And they want the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay? And us, our people, being delivered, that's part of the covenant. That's not for the heathen. So we're telling our people, remember the covenant, just as the Lord is remembering the covenant, by hearing these words, taking heed to them. Because you're either going to be um, cursed for going against the covenant, or by abiding by the covenant, you're going to be um, delivered. You're going to be saved. Pulled up in a chariot. I'm going to close it with this. Romans chapter 11 and verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. So all Israel will be saved ultimately. Why? Because that's a part of the covenant. Okay? Because that covenant was made with our people. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, being Yahweh Shai. His name means he is the deliverer. And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. So that covenant was only made with the Israelites. So the Lord is calling the elect of the Israelites to draw back, turn back, I should say, from their wickedness. We're in a time where we should be begging the Lord to forgive us, seeing that we've totally you know, broken his heart. We've gone against him many times. And if you've ever loved a woman or if you love a woman now, you know what it's like to be, you know, jealous over your woman, man. If you really love a woman, you are you are jealous over her. And the Lord is jealous over us and he's calling his women back. He could have easily just went out and got another woman, but he wants his women back. And he has set aside an elect of the nation of Israel that are going to be called back. OK. They are going to remember the words written in this covenant. They are going to repent and they are going to be um, delivered from the destruction to come. That's a part of the new covenant. That's a part of being an Israelite. That's a part of our heritage. But for those who don't want to turn back now, they'll have to be destroyed first. They'll have to, you know, face the curse that comes from disobeying the covenant before they can actually receive um, the, the, the promises that come from being under this covenant. Okay? Not trying to be confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and close it there. You know, our people got to repent. The Lord is remembering the covenant in which he made with our people. So you, you keep breaking that. You keep going against that. He's only going to show you <clears throat> more and more that because he is a man of his word, you go against that. Hey, prepare for destruction. And we don't want that, man. So all praises unto Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Wa'arakakwadash. Shalom.